We're out here today with a very familiar face and we're in Shelby County getting ready to do one of my all-time favorite activities and that's gigging or shooting frogs. Yeah, I'm so excited. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's so much fun. I know you've done this a lot and you've taken kids out shooting and gigging frogs. What a great way to introduce someone to the outdoors. It is a lot of fun. It's something great to do in the summer. Yeah. So if kids are out, the weather's great. Yeah. Everything's wonderful. We're gonna have so much fun. <laughs> it is a lot of fun. You know, there's a lot of ways you can do this. You can do it on a rod and reel. You can do it with a keg. You can do it with a rifle. You can shoot them with a bow. Tonight, I brought a couple air rifles and you... Brought gigs. I've never done anything but gig frogs. Okay. Well, I take that back. I've caught a couple with my hands, but I've never shot one with a gun before. So we're gonna try that tonight. I'm super pumped about that. You mentor so many people and get them involved in the outdoors. Yeah, I actually took my daughter on her first deer hunt. It was a blast, so much fun. <laughs> she still talks about it all the time. Your passion and love for the outdoors and mentoring really transitioned perfectly for you because recently you started a new position with the Department of Fish and Wildlife. You're now a Department of Fish and Wildlife employee. Yep. And you are heading up our R3 program, which tell me what R3 is. So R3 is recruitment, retention, and reactivation. So okay. if you've never hunted or fished before, we're gonna try and introduce it to you. If you're doing it, we just wanna make sure that you come back. And maybe if you left for a while or haven't done it in a few years, we wanna get you back into it and show you how much fun it is, how mm. it's a great hobby to have. Mm. and. Hopefully we'll get some frog legs yeah. so we can eat some later too. And if you've never had frog legs, this ranks right up there one of my absolute favorite things to eat. We got about 20 minutes till it's gonna be dark enough to kind of start making our way around. Mm -hmm. With those air rifles, you can sometimes start shooting them before it's completely dark and you don't even really have to spotlight them. So let's go get our gear. It's gonna be fun. Let's get after them. It's, it's gonna be a blast. Yeah. Well, Rachel, we got way too much gear. <laughs> I brought this little net. Probably wonder what in the world is he just gonna hand grab frogs? And I may grab a frog, yeah. but this is actually if we shoot one that's out in the water just a little ways. Well, I'm super excited about trying to shoot one, so I think we should try that first. All right, hey. That sounds good. Listen, you hear him? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get down here and take a look and see if we can get you loaded up. We're gonna try to score your first frog with an air rifle right off the bat. Okay. We're just gonna leave these right here for now, and let's walk down and take a look. Sounds good. Oh yeah, you can see all their eyes. That's a good frog, Rachel. Why don't you go ahead and get loaded up? Okay. I probably need to sneak up a tiny bit closer with this gun. Oh, wrong way. I don't know why it's not pulling. Maybe I didn't cock it all the way. <laughs> Dang That's it. That's all right, he'll be back up here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't cock the pellet rifle all the way. And I think that frog would have been close enough for me to gig. That's okay, there'll be more. Get ready, because we're getting ready to see some big ones. I think like right in here by this big pipe, Chad, there should be a few sitting up here. Well, right there's one right there, but I believe that one's a hair small. That'll be next year's frog, what do you think? Yeah. We'll go on around, see if we can't find another one. That one looks a little bigger. It's not a big frog, but it might be good for your first one with an air rifle. I think this distance is probably pretty good, right? Yep. Oh, that was a good shot. This is what the net's for right here. I'll tell you one thing, those air rifles will flat stone them. <laughs> That's crazy. Frog number one. Heck yeah. You know what? You get 15, I get 15. Let's try to get another one. Okay. I missed him. Got him. Didn't hit him where I wanted to, but the old pellet gun still took him down. That's a better frog. Oh, it actually went in right where I was aiming, but it came out here. Look, yep. you think that doesn't do a number on them? It's really perfect for frogs, those air rifles are. Let's get loaded up again, okay. try to get us another one. I'll tell you one thing, the worst mistake you could ever make is take one of these air rifles and go, oh, it's a BB gun, they don't have to be safe with them. Yeah. I would hate to get shot with one of these. It could be really, really, really bad news. Absolutely. You gotta treat these just like a regular firearm. Keep them well, on the safety. Well, they for sure are. You smoking. Ooh, Rachel, right there. 
Okay. You want to shine or shoot? You're up, I'll shine, you shoot. Let me make my way up here this way just a little bit. Ready? Yep. All right, he's down, and we got another one right here. Nice job, Rachel. Laying right there. Thank you. Look at that one. Look at the white belly on that joker right there, Rachel. That's our chicken from earlier. That is. I'll hold that light. Okay, you want this light here? Yep. Nice shot, Chad. That wasn't as big as I thought, but we're gonna take it. Yep, he'll eat. I've had good frog legs at restaurants. They don't compare. No, not I even mean, close. When you go get fresh caught frog legs instead of farm raised, there's something about them that's just different. Yeah, for sure. All right, guys, that frog's hit, and he's not too deep to still get. Go. Heck yeah. Good frog right there. That'll eat. <laughs> oh, there's a big one in the water. Was I high on that? You know, I don't know, but that frog is going to come back, and we're going to get that frog here in just a minute. He's on the bank now. Do I need to shoot him again? Yep. All right. Did I hit him or? Is he swimming? <laughs> He's gonna come right back up to this bank. Yep, we got a blood trail. I've never seen a frog get away and leave a puddle like that. Oh no, it's crazy. That frog's coming back to the bank. I don't believe it needs another pellet. We're just gonna go up there and try to stick this net on it. Got him, good job. Well, did you see that? Did he get out of there? He snuck out the side. Dang it. Oh, there were two frogs. Oh, we got him. Okay. Here we go. This is that big one that we shot earlier. Heck yeah. That's a good frog right there. Look at that. The shot on this hit right here. Yeah, that's a good shot though. That's a Look great that. big frog. That's a good one. That's a really good frog. Heck yeah, he's gonna eat good. Hey Rach, we got a couple more ponds, so let's go regroup and I think I'm gonna leave the scoped air rifle. We'll take the other air rifle you got there. We'll lighten our load a little bit. Maybe we'll carry the gigs next time around. Yeah, we'll see if we can gig a couple. Let's go make it happen. Sounds good. I think you may have it. Got him. What do you think, Rach? Can you make that shot? I'm gonna try. Oh! Good shooting, Chad. Got him. Nice job, Rachel. Look at that, that's a good frog. I think you got him. Yes, that's a good job right there. Not easy to get through those cattails like that. This is so fun. Oh, there's a big one. Good job. You got him? Yeah. I can't hardly see. Oh yeah. There we go. Good job, buddy. Nice. Oh, you smoked him. <laughs> Well, Rach, it's been great. I this really do appreciate really it. Fun. Hey, for someone who wanted to know more about R3 and how to get involved and how to reach out and learn a little more about the outdoors, what's the best way for them to do that? Go to the website fw.ky.gov and then if you click on the education tab, you'll find a learn to hunt, fish and shoot tab. That's your best place to start. So there they'll take you to like our hook and cook classes or field to fork. We've also started putting together basic learn to hunt and fish information on our website too. Well, I'll tell you what, tonight was a perfect basic learn how to gather frogs. <laughs> Yeah. And you know what? We got a skillet full of goodness right here. Yes, we do. I can't wait.